Hi, it's Paddy Hirsch of Marketplace. So if you've invested in a stock that's just shot through the roof, there's always the danger that it's gonna come tumbling right back down again. But you can protect against this using something called a collar. And just like this kind of a collar, a collar is focused on protecting a certain part of you, right? Doctors aren't worried about this bit up here. They're not really worried about what's going on down here. They're worried about this part right here. That's where the focus is. And the same goes with a collar when you're talking about investing. So let me just get rid of this a second. So let me explain this by introducing you to a a stock investor called Alice, all right? Now, Alice has invested in this stock, which is represented by this young fella here. His feet are like zero dollars, his waist is like a hundred dollars, and his shoulders are about two hundred dollars. Now, recently, this stock has gone on a run, and it's been zipping up the market, and it's right about, I don't know, Adam's apple level there. It's about two hundred and twenty dollars. Now, at this point, Alice wants to protect herself from losing all of these gains, so she decides to play doctor and slap a collar on the stock. Now, the collar comes in two parts. The first part is called a put, and that's when she has made an arrangement so that if the stock falls below a certain level, in this case, shoulder level, or about $200, another investor will step in and buy the shares from her for $200 a share. So she's basically protected her entire investment. This is called an option, so she has the option to sell those shares at this price. All right, but that doesn't come cheap, right? She has to buy that option, and it costs her, all right, about $5 per share, so not cheap. But she can pay for that using something called a call, which is the other part of the collar. And in this case, another investor is paying her $5 per share, all right, for the option to buy her shares if they go above a certain price, in this case, ear level, or about $240 a share. All right, so what Alice has done here is she has cost-free, right, there's no cost to her because of this exchange of money here, cost-free, she has protected her investment from falling below $200 a share. Pretty neat. The downside to this, of course, is that if the shares take off and go up to head height, well, this other investor might exercise his option to buy her shares at $240, and if he does that, she's not gonna be able to realize those gains, and that's gonna leave her very badly needing a drink.